Hello, I am Zarkoon. This is World of Warships Legends. On the screen here you see my build for a level 11 Tanaka. He is the commander and this is the build that I will be using on the tier 7 premium Japanese destroyer Yudachi. That's right, I bought out the rest of the campaign early in order to get this ship because frankly I really wanted it. And you know what? I don't regret it. Call me a wallet warrior if you'd like. But here is a look at the Udachi played by me for you. Now, of course, on this build, I am using the alternative torpedoes on the ship. They have been referred to as the Screamer Torps by some YouTubers who I have great respect for. And they're very fast. Okay, they go at 80 knots. They have a range of 7.5 kilometers on my build. You could probably get that up a tiny bit higher with a maxed out Tanaka. Mine, of course, is relatively low mid-level, level 11, so usable. But you could increase the range with a skill that Tanaka has by a little bit. I think without that skill, the range is actually 7 kilometers. Level 11 Tanaka bumps it up to 7.5. So, fastest torps in the game, 80 knots, relatively short range. And that means you do have to put yourself a lot closer to harm than you would if you were using the standard torpedoes on the Udachi. I've played a few games with both torpedoes. I actually have a pretty good game using the standard, I think, 10, 11 kilometer torpedoes, whatever they are, that that game's actually, it ends up being higher damage than this one does, but I get about half of the XP by the end. Anyway, we're going to line up our first torpedo salvo on this Poltava out here, send those torps out. They go, again, very, very quickly, and a lot of the time, these guys aren't going to be able to dodge. But of course, when you're launching torpedoes at a battleship that is facing the angle of your launch bow on, you're much less likely to get a good result. Still, this serves the purpose of making this guy and the Bismarck to his right there hesitate before they enter this capture circle. It should be obvious to them now, especially since I am spotted by a plane, that there is a destroyer here. The Bismarck appears to be using his hydroacoustic search also to keep me lit up, so I'm going to get behind this island. I don't want to get shot by either of these guys, and I just kind of want to disengage now that my purpose in that part of the map has been fulfilled and I've secured the capture circle. Yudachi fairly stealthy ship. I'm sure you can get it stealthier than I can. I'm using a level 12 bay as an inspiration for Tanaka, and my detectability range by sea is 5.1 kilometers. Obviously, you can get it lower than that if you have a maxed out bay, and if you happen to have the Polish commander, Jerzy Swirsky, that you get for buying the Błyskowice, then you can do a double concealment build, and I shudder to think at how stealthy you can make this particular boat. Now the Bismarck, now that I am sort of out of sight, has decided it may be okay for him to push in. Torp reload on this thing, I think it's about 77 seconds on my build, so pretty quick cycling torps. They're already up again, and of course I have the reload booster. Now I will say, I also have a level 11 Togo. There we get a nice torpedo salvo on the Bismarck though. You can see these torpedoes hit incredibly hard. I think they do a maximum amount of 21, 22,000 damage on my build. Anyway, I do have a level 11 Togo. And Togo comes with the fully packed uh, skill, which gives you an extra consumable, meaning if you have him sufficiently highly leveled, you can get two reload boosters. And I have tested that out a little bit, but the reload boosters take about five minutes 
to cycle through and you end up having to try and use one right off the bat and I don't like to try anything like that it I feel like it somehow messes up the flow when I'm trying to do those kind of things Z23 coming around the corner huge danger to me he could probably gun me down pretty easily so we're gonna launch the torps that we have as we leave the smoke screen we are detected by his sonar which means he should see these torpedoes coming but they're so fast that they hit him anyway and they take him down so that eliminates my biggest or the biggest threat to me in this game there is no longer an enemy destroyer to counter me and I am now free to wreak havoc upon the enemy and that is what I intend to do we are ahead in terms of caps and ahead in terms of points they are down two ships we have lost zero and we have two capture points to their one I probably am going to end up going over toward A to try and capture that being out here though I spot the Mogami's torpedoes before they have a chance to get too close to the friendly battleships hopefully that gives them a little bit extra time to dodge there's that Poltava again that I launched the first torpedo salvo at and missed he is maneuvering and also being shot and you know obviously he's losing a lot of hit points so very possible that he might be dead before these torpedoes reach him even if they do manage to hit now he does spot me I do take a shot at him trying to maybe steal the kill here doesn't work and he dies I don't know whether those torpedoes would have hit him or not it looks like he turned sufficiently enough to dodge them I am taking some incoming fire from the enemy ships out there but luckily they all miss the Udachi has not a lot of hit points 13,000 or so which I think makes it the destroyer with the shallowest most shallow health pool at the tier which is probably a good thing since it's so stealthy and its torpedoes hit like uh, trucks maybe not the right word for it freight trains maybe maybe not freight trains they hit like something they hit like no other okay they hurt anyway I've decided forget this I'm gonna head over here toward Alpha there is almost a full health turpits over this way and there is a full health Amagi somewhere out there plus the enemy has regained a few kills we have lost three ships now and they still have or they've lost four so the ship count might be starting to get even here wouldn't necessarily be a bad idea to try to torpedo this turpits to death and take the alpha cap now the turpits is relatively stationary it looks like he may beach himself on that island and if he's going to do that then he's going to be in a lot of trouble these 80 kilometer torps you beach yourself on an island five kilometers away from a udachi and essentially you spelled your own death sentence there's no way you're gonna reverse out of the way in time to miss all of them so launch one torpedo on the indicator and in retrospect I probably should have launched it a little bit more to the right because I say you know they're so fast that they're difficult to dodge but if you don't aim them correctly and give enough lead then most of them are gonna end up missing so as it stands only two of them hit the turpits a third one would almost certainly have killed him and I think that first one was for 12k the second was for 16 so you know these are doing citadel damage that in Iowa would be envious of the flooding however does take down the turpits and now I've got a full health of Magi here and I do have the single reload booster that I come equipped with still available to me now I am trying to get close to this Amagi I don't want to be spotted detectability range of 5.1 I think on my build so I am cutting things 
a little bit too close, and in fact I drift into detection range. The Imagi spots me, so I drop smoke. Torpedoes are up, and I launch them in the Imagi's direction. He is giving a broadside. It is going to be difficult for him to turn out of the way in time. He does get a wicked hit on me there, so a little bit of a mistake on my part that probably could have cost me my life. Luckily it didn't. And those torpedoes look good. I hit the reload booster anyway, although it is completely unnecessary. The Amagi goes down in a devastating strike, third kill of the game, and 139,000 damage done. Now that just leaves three cruisers, which I am not well equipped to deal with. One of my teammates advises me to get back, and I agree with him. So I am going to come out of the smoke screen. Mogami should have been far enough away not to spot me. He can't, but I spot him, which, as a destroyer, is a crucial and perhaps undervalued thing to do, spotting targets like this for your teammates to shoot at. Now, I don't want to necessarily be in this area, and that Mogami really looked like he wanted to kill me. I mean, he took a blind shot at me that completely missed. I am moving up, though. I'm interested in launching some torpedoes at these cruisers, and now if I was, I think, using the standard torpedoes, the long-range ones, those, by the way, on my build go at 71 knots, which makes them still the fastest torpedoes across my builds. I don't actually have the Kagero, so I'm not sure how fast those torpedoes go, but the Z-23 on my build, I've got those torpedoes up at 70 knots. So 71 with the long-range torpedoes on the Udachi, second fastest at the tier across my builds. Can't be very authoritative on that, though, without the Kagero, which I'll get to eventually. But this ship, this is so fun that I am not too concerned about it. You know, if you are wondering whether you should put in the effort to grind out this campaign and whether this ship is worth it absolutely it is it is the first tier 7 premium destroyer in the game and it is pretty special it is a menace either with these short range torpedoes or the long range ones uh, I would say the difference in play style between the two of them again I don't have the Kagero but it's a lot more it's a lot more slow, methodical. You don't have to put yourself at risk too much when you have the long-range torpedoes equipped. With the short-range torpedoes, it's slightly more suicidal. Perhaps more for the adrenaline junkies who enjoy skirting on the edge of detectability and playing the stealth game. You know what I mean? But either way, torpedoes on this ship are great whether you use the standard ones or these alternative super fast ones. Whatever you want to do, this is a dangerous ship. If you see it, absolutely you need to shoot it. Luckily, it doesn't have a lot of HP, so they are relatively easy to take down very quickly. A single salvo from even some battleships, as you saw with that Amagi, can take away most of this thing's hit points. I'm sure if more of the shells are on target, you know, if RNG had been more favorable to that Imagi, he could have easily taken me out. So, anyway, great, great ship. I like it a lot. I'm not a huge super fan of the Japanese torpedo boats because they are kind of, you know, one-trick ponies, but this one, this one is special. It reminds me somewhat of the Tier 4 premium Japanese destroyer, the Kamikaze, except it has more torpedoes and they hit a lot, a lot harder. And they're faster. So, this here is basically the game for you. I just spend the rest of it chasing after this Mogami. Time to probably cut to the results screen here because he's not going to end up dying. He's just running away. And... Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel if you have not already done that. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all your support, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.